Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review Aerosuke Columbia's Boeing 727-200F by Gemini Jets. The only three flaws I could find with the mold are the shape right above the cockpit windows. The curve doesn't have a smooth transition. The nose seems to be too pointed and the aerials. It has two areas on top and one in the bottom. The holes are just too big for the aerials and it's missing one area on the lower side of the fuselage. Besides that, the rest of the mold is well done. The burgundy should be just a little bit lighter. The red seems to be on point and it should be more of an orange color rather than a gold color. The print is fantastic. In my opinion, it would be great if they painted the outline of the plugged windows since it's a converted passenger plane to freighter. The wing mount is not the best, but neither the worst. When it comes to the wing mount, I think it's just a preference thing. I personally prefer the slotted wings instead of the cradle mount. The wings are also overglossed but love the fact that they apply the airline's name and tail number on both the top and bottom of the wing. The engines are mounted nicely. I love the fact that they even got the correct color for the engine nose cow, since only one of them is painted burgundy on the real aircraft. The only flaw I have is that they place the fan blades way to front of engine number one and three. The landing gear seems to be made out of metal. The wheels are rubber and are nicely done. Only the wheels in the main landing gear roll. The only flaw I could find is that the doors of the main landing gear should be longer. Overall, this is a model I recommend you guys to get despite its flaws. This will make a nice addition to your growing collection. Well that concludes the review for Aerosucre Columbia's Boeing 727-200F by Gemini Jets. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to have you guys back again soon.